So that was good. We do have a general expression for this SVM problem. We do know how to formulate it, but there is still one thing remains. So the objective function, as we previously formulated, is this one. Okay, and in particular, in the numerator, is x one minus x two transpose times beta. So here there gets a question. You actually get a lot of points, a lot of points. And before you do the optimization, you don't know you are separating hyperplanes. So how may we know which two points are really、uh, the support vectors? Okay. So this is、uh, how may we know? Okay. How may we know which two points are doing the correct supporting? We have no idea. So we should somehow、mm, simplify the objective function or reformulate the objective function, because you cannot leave several unknown things in your objective function. Well, so there may be several different ways, but one perspective is the following: suppose x one and x two are really support vectors, then we know for x one, we have this. For x one, if you plug in that into your alpha plus beta transpose x, that will be exactly one. Okay, and for x two, you are going to get negative one. So actually, for your numerator, once you do this, it's going to be beta transpose x one minus beta transpose x two. All right, and if you do the Subtraction here, you see this value is always two, so we don't really have that problem. Our objective function becomes this one. We simply want to find alpha and beta to maximize this guy, where your denominator is the length of your beta vector or the norm, and the numerator is just a constant. So of course, no one is happy to have decision variables in the denominator, right? So instead of maximizing this guy, why don't we minimize its、um, inverse? Okay, so we are going to minimize the the, the inverse of、um, the original objective function. So now we want to minimize one half times the norm of beta. So now one may. Really, write things in this way. So, suppose we want to minimize the norm of this one half of beta. The norm is actually beta one square plus beta two square plus blah 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 plus beta n square. Okay. So there should be a square root here if you are talking about the norm. But if we want to minimize this. This is equivalent to minimizing this one, right? We don't really need to worry too much about the square root function. If you minimize the square root, pretty much you minimize the itself or the other way. It's also the same. Okay. So why do we just do this? Let's just minimize one half of the sum of square of beta k. This one. So now we really get our final version of our SVM problem. If you want to find a good separating program or a separating hyperplane, all you need to do is to solve this problem. Okay, find beta, and the beta exists in the formulation in the objective function, and use your alpha and beta to make sure that all the separation is correct. What's more interesting is that. This formulation is nice because this is again a convex program. Your constraints are linear. Your objective is convex, and you are minimizing a convex function. So even though、uh, now you have several constraints, but now you may use algorithms to solve these constraint convex programs. Okay, some constraint versions for、uh, gradient descent, for example, or more other advanced. Um, algorithms. Okay, so given that this is a convex program, asking someone to solve it now makes sense, and that's why SVM seems to be a good model in many applications.